How's it going YouTube? My name is Silver. Welcome back to the channel. Today guys, we're going over set 13 and a whole bunch of new cards that were just released last night. Uh, or yeah, last night or so. <coughs> so guys, our goal today is to go over our two wonderful dragons here in more detail. But to start off, I'd like to go over the new Aqua Force stuff that is coming out. We'll start off with Blue Wave Recruit. Um, we know nothing about him. He's a 5k, so probably not going to have the greatest skill um, for a forerunner. But we'll see what his skill is like. We also have the new grade 1, which we don't know a whole lot about, but it's a 7k attacker. Um, it's skill that we know of is auto in your vanguard with blue wave in its name is stand stand this unit so it's a nice restander for the back row we also have the new grade 2 which is blue wave Mar marine general and its skill is counter blast 1 choose a choose a card from hand discard it when this unit attacks a vanguard if you have a Vanguard with blue wave in its name, you may pay the cost if you do. This unit gets first wave only at the end of battle. If this unit attacks, stand this unit in auto third wave only. When you when your Vanguard attacks, stand this unit and give it 2k. So we got a unit that restands a total of two times on the first and third wave of the battle. Which could be really nice and really good. For it, we also have the new grade 3, which is going to be very popular, which is Blue Wave Marshall Vilos. We only know of its on stride skill right now, which is Soul Blast of 1. When it strides, you may pay the cost. If you do, restrict the Vanguard to 11k. Guys, I made a point of this last night that Angel Feather will have problems with this. And it's true, even Gavrielle will not be a lot because even during Gabrielle's defensive stage it checks for triggers and it can't guard so um this is and there's more problems decks that utilize units that are above 11k naturally like um some grade threes from royal and Nurikami are now brought down to 11 so yeah that that's a bit of a problem. I mean, it's on stride, so it's kind of not of use if you're using Seabreeze, but, um, yeah. This is a thing, and it's powerful, and it scares me, because I think Aqua Force, we're going to see a surge of it into the competitive scene. But we'll move along. We also have Blue Wave Martial Dragon Flood Hazard Dragon, which was the new G-Unit um, shown in the series. Which is by far one of my favorite units. So it has the skill Counter Blast 1. Choose a card face down from your G zone. With the same name as this, turn it face up. Choose two cards from your hand, discard them. At the end of battle that your rear guard with Blue Wave and its card name attacked, you may. If you have a heart with Blue Wave and its card name and it's the fourth battle of the turn, you may pay the cost. If you do, stand this unit and give it minus. Give it a minus three drive or drive three minus drive three gets drive minus three all right it's gb1 skill when this this unit gets plus one drive for all rear guards with blue wave in in their card name in the front row oh god that this unit gets plus one drive for all oh god that's scary. Um. So if you guys aren't aware of this, but this thing gets seven drive checks in a turn at GB3 because it's a continuous skill and it doesn't say when it restands. Oh God. This card is no. There's just so much know about this card, guys. If if you don't understand what I mean is if you if this is your first stride and you G guarded twice or even once, 
Because choose a card. Yeah. You G guard once. And you're going to get five drive checks for the turn. But what's even worse is if you G guard twice. Or you stride G guard. You're going to get a total of five drive checks on your first attack. And then it's second attack. It's going to get minus three. So you're going to get two more drives. That's literally a hand replenisher. This card is by far probably Aqua Force's strongest and most powerful unit. And now I'm scared. Like, everything else, I didn't read the skill before the video. So, um, uh, yeah, um, be prepared for my deck profile on this, because scary. I'm scared of this card we'll move on to the G guard uh, third wave only when this unit's placed oh I forgot to read the name blue wave armored general uh, when it's placed on guard it gets 5k until end of turn that's it that's the new G guard aqua force and now we're moving on to the new G unit Zeroth Dragon of Disaster Sea. So, as you guys know, this card um, excludes from the G zone. So let's read. It has the skill Ultimate Stride, which is brand new. Release when the number of cards in your G zone is three or more. So you have to have had three or more cards face up. When it would return to your G zone, exclude your exclude your G zone. Meaning you remove your G-Zone. Stride skill, choose a card. So this is a specific on stride part. Choose a card with the same name as your Vanguard and discard it. Stride this card on your Vanguard face. Oh my god. No, why, Bushy Row? Your phone, be quiet for a brief minute. Bushy Row is breaking this card a lot. Let me explain to you guys why. Maybe you guys don't see it. Maybe you've already thought of it yourself. But it's right here. Choose a choose a card with the same name as your Vanguard and discard it. That doesn't sound too bad. Let's um, just go look up Aqua Force. Legion Now there we go. Um we'll just do that. We'll just straight on that. No, no big deal. Oh, you, just in case you haven't seen it. This is on my Vanguard. Discard a grade 2 stride. Legion decks are getting a boost and it's not even intentional. And from what it looks like, every single clan will have it. Well, that's a matchup. But yeah, um, that's no good. That's um scary. I mean, its skill isn't friendly, but so it's skill. Counter Blast 2. When this is placed on Vanguard, you may pay the cost. If you do, choose five cards in total from your hand. And drop zone, call them to separate rear guards, and until end of turn, they get 5k in the auto. At the end of battle that this unit attacked, you may exchange one other position with it. I'm not going to touch too much on this, but as I stated, you can swap all five of your rear guards around. You can remake your columns the way you like for restands. And on top of that, you're getting five rear guard attacks with whatever skills they do when they attack as well. And yeah, that's um, it's not funny. It's oh, sorry guys. I just woke up about an hour ago. It's not. It, it's scary. Aqua Fort's got a scary boost right now. But guys, it is time for the Zenoth Dragon of Inferno to come forth with his no skill yet to be determined. But 
we can see the strat the ultimate stride is consistent so legion decks are scary um a lot of people are asking how this would work how they're gonna cram all of his, all of his nation skills into it so you're gonna have our tire with some sort of ability to bound cards your rear guard so you you're, you're gonna gain the ability to retire you're going to gain the ability to gain power off of bound cards Nubat it's probably gonna have something to do with your opponents gonna have to discard for every something or another the Vanguard's probably gonna restand um, what's Murakumo shtick? I guess they have Shadow Stitch, so it's gonna call duplicates of something out of the deck. Um, I don't know. But we do know he has 25k. Which is really, really good. It makes me want to cry. Because now we have to work twice as hard to get a good G unit that will end the game. So I'm hoping to pull a, some of these guys... I mean, from what I understand, this rarity is the same as a G-Rare, so... But yeah. Set 13 in a nutshell. Everything so far is pretty good, I want to say. I plan on doing more of the Spike Brothers. Uh, Black Moon Dragon did do a Maelstrom, so I'm not going to cover Maelstrom, unfortunately. I do have a Maelstrom deck when these cards are released, and I get my hands on four copies of each. Um, I'll probably do a pre deck build that I have of before set 13 yeah probably and yeah overall this is pretty good stuff we have a lot of confirmed cards I'm waiting on guys expect the Garmore to be killed like I'm going to deliver news out the anything you can think of on this card it's my favorite unit but yeah overall I'm Really interested to see where this will go. But guys, until next time, I've been the Silver Wolf, bringing you the Set 13 News. I'll see you all later. Peace.